Uh, but we're going to begin with Tottenham chat. Now, before we talk about Son in particular, let's talk about Spurs. Mm. They played a sort of, you know, not the great AC Milan side we've ever seen, but they only got beat by a goal to nil. So the tie's well and truly alive. It's only half-time, right? Yeah. What did you make of Tottenham's performance? A um, little bit indifferent. I thought there were some good performances within... Because I, I didn't think AC Milan were great. I thought that was a poor AC Milan side mm -hmm. um, by AC Milan standards. I know they won the league last year, but I think they are way off what they were last year. Um, and I thought Spurs maybe missed the chance there because I thought there was some good performance. Skip, I thought, did well. I thought Saar was their, probably their best player. Yeah. Um, I thought they both did really well considering the injuries that they've got. But I think if you're a Spurs fan or a player, you're not happy because you don't want to lose any game. But I think you, you're pleasantly pleased and go, OK, we've been beat. It's only 1-0 and it's going back to, to Spurs Stadium. So I, I fully expect Spurs to capitalise and, and, and get past this AC Milan side because... I don't really think there's anything to fear. Like I don't think the game was great. I looked at Liao. We spoke to Andy Brassell yesterday about him. I don't think he was great. Brassell? Andy Brassell. Brassell. Andy Brassell. Um, I don't think he was great. So I, I think Spurs is all to play for. I, I genuinely believe if Spurs turn up to the, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium and play anywhere near as, as good as they can, they get, they get through still that favorites, time. Still favourites. I think so, yeah. Last okay. uh, Son, let's talk about Son. Mm -hmm. All right. What's happened to him? His form literally has fallen. We'll talk about falling off the edge of a cliff a bit mm. later on when we talk about Arsenal. But his form has well and truly just deserted, deserted him. him. Yeah. What, why is it? How can someone go from golden boot winner mm. and the last... How long has he been at Spurs? Seven years? He's been at Spurs for, yeah, seven years. Okay. Um, every year, he's been there or thereabouts. Eight, eight, eight years. Eight okay. years, yeah. And we know he's, he's just a great player. Mm -hmm. I remember doing a show with you talking about Son. Is he world class? Is he in the bracket? Mm. Whether he was or wasn't, he was in a conversation. Well, he's very good. What's happened to him? Mm. Can you put your finger on it? The only thing I can think of, when you look at what he did last season and the back end of last season, he was, he was absolutely phenomenal. He won the golden boot. He chased down Salah um, for, for large spells because I thought it was it was done and dusted. I generally thought that Salah had, had won the golden boot, but he had a, a miserable second half of the season, didn't he? But then when you look at what he did, certainly the back end of last season, I mean, he had the he scored the two against Leicester, and then he scored against Liverpool. He then scored against Arsenal. He scored two against Norwich. You know what I mean? He, he's... He was on absolute fire and for whatever reason he must have stepped and I've been there you've scored a lot of goals the season before and you automatically think that my form will just continue it will just roll into the, the next season I'll be good to go but then you go one game without a goal two games without a goal but I don't think it's even the fact that he's not scoring goals his, over, his overall play at the minute his touch everything just to be just seems to be a little bit off so he'll get it back because he's a good player if, if this form continues to the end of the season should Spurs think about selling or is that madness? Absolute madness I mean, you're talking you can't about, become a bad player overnight, right? Absolutely. I mean, when did he get here? He got in, what, 2015? The only players to have scored more goals, Premier League goals in that period since 2015... I love this fact already. Harry Kane, who's got the most. Mohamed Salah. Yeah, for Salah. Vardy, Aguero and Sadio Mane. Wow. They are the only players above Son who have, who have scored okay. more goals. Would, just quickly, would you drop him playing Richarlison instead? No, I'm not dropping Son yet. You know, OK. No, I'm, I'm not dropping Son yet. Okay. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.